In part two of the Media Thumbnail Viewer, we're going to be setting up the framework for the Recycler View Adapter. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name is Nigel. Okay, so we need to probably first of all set up a adapter for our recycler view. So we'll make a start on that now. First thing we need to do is to get the recycler view library. It's not provided to us out of the box. So we need to set up a dependency for that in our gradle.build file. So we'll go into the gradle.build file. So we'll need to go into our app and select the build.grade file here. There can be more than one of them. Okay, at the bottom here, we can see we've already provided a dependency for that compact. I'm just going to copy this line, paste it, and then I'm just going to change the app compact to recycler view. The reason I've done this is because the versioning number versioning number of 7 colon 23.4 hopefully it's the same as the one above it we're going to have to resync again the sync's now completed okay next step here is i'm going to add another layout which this contains our image view we need to provide that layout into the view holder and the adapter okay so we need to go into, I need to find the resource. Here we are down here. So it always seems to keep moving around every time I upgrade to different versions of Android Studio with different projects. Anyway, so I've got the resource folder here. In the layout, we've got, should have one file here. Uh, activity main. I'm going to create another layout. So just right click on the Mac with two finger clicks, scroll on down to XML and select layout XML file. Okay, uh, the name of this file is, I'm just going to call it media, I'm going to use the same naming convention as what was provided with the original file. So I'll call it media image view I believe and I'm going to change that to a relative layout select neck uh, select finish not adding to git just yet okay see we've got a problem here I don't have the latest version of Java installed for 1.8 which is what you need for the end version of Android OS so we can just go up here, you can see the N with the Android, and we can just select API 23, select this one here. And as you can see, it goes back to normal. And what I want to do here is just to drag in an image view, and I want to drag it into the center as such. Now I just want to do some final touch-ups, so I'm going to do that in the text file. And I just want to set the relative layout just to match the image view. To wrap the content of the image view. And same again for the height. Now for the layout width and height, I'm going to set the actual dimensions for that. Okay, so first one, I'm going to set it to 128. Trial and error is where I got this value from. And it's probably a good idea to set my own ID for this so I know what it is. So I'll just call it Media Store Image View for that. And I'll just get everything else the same. Um, a good idea if you do add a content description for that. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial. It's easy enough to do in the string.xml file. Okay, now we can actually create our, our Recycler View adapter. So let's go into the source code. And inside here, let's just click on it. We've got our main activity. 
So I'm just going to add another file next to that. Let's so right click on that, go new Java class. I'm going to call this probably the media store adapter. Basically, it's an adapter to the media store where we can extract the thumbnails from videos as well as images. It's my reasoning. No to get, I'll do that later, forget. Okay, so I've got the class here. I do need to extend it from the recycler view adapter. And before, first thing I want to do, it's a good idea to do this in the order I'm doing it. And if you're doing a different order, you might pull down the wrong uh, applicable library for the methods, and it could get a bit sticky. So what I'm going to do here first is just create the view holder class inside here. Make that public. It's going to be a static class, and you have to, it's a good idea to call it a view holder. And it's going to extend the recycler view view holder just let me close that close down the sidebar okay so the first thing I want to do here is just to um, set up the constructor for that okay now I'm going to create a member here the image view member that we're going to be using and this image view member is going to match the uh, um, image view in the layout we just created before. Can make that private, final, it's going to get initialized in the constructor. It's going to be an image view. And I'll just call it member image view. Now we can go into our constructor and initialize that. Member image view. Okay, equals. Now we're going to have to put a cast in here. And the parent here, we call the item view that's already supplied to us. Then we can call find view by ID. And then we can call our image view here. Okay, so we've now got the image view. And just before I complete this class, I want to put a getter in here just to return the value of the image view, we've made it private here, but we're gonna to need to provide it to other methods inside this class. Okay, so we make this public, so it's a getter for the image view, so it's gonna return an image view. And let's just call it get image view. Oh. Get image view. And it's just gonna return the image view. As such. Okay, that's now completed. So inside, right inside here, we need to add that view holder. So we'll call the media store adapter and view holder. Okay, now we can add all the applicable over the overridden methods for our recycler view adapter. So I'm just going to select the alt enter key and select implement methods and I want to implement all those methods okay at this stage because I haven't yet done any implementation for the media store as such there's just one thing we can implement here which is going to be the on create view holder so I'm going to create a new um, uh, member for this method called view and I'm going to use the layout inflator from the parent, the parent context. And inside here we're going to call inflate and we're going to pass in the layout file we just created before. And I believe it's called media image view. We can just pass in the parent here and we're going to set this to false. Okay, now we need to return basically the value we pick up from the view holder. So we're going to create a new view holder here. Object. And we'll pass in this view. And I will complete it right here because the next episode of this, we're actually going to set up uh, basically the media store part of this. 
um, gen generating thumbnails from videos and getting the images from the media store and providing that into our own buying view holder but there's a little bit of work to do that so we'll put that into the following episode to this but this is basically the framework for the recycle view adapter completed if you want to get notified of the next tutorials is talking about or any other tutorials that I'm working on don't forget to click on that subscribe button just below me right now and surrounding me is all my social media accounts so to this side of me I have all my social media accounts so any updates um, code that gets uploaded to github articles that get published videos get published they get put onto the social media accounts so if you want to get notified of those changes it's a good idea to follow those accounts if you've got any questions for me that aren't suspected bugs in the code or thanking me you can any questions or any help that you need or any training and such on this side of me you can contact me through code mentor so just click on that and then you can book some of my time and directly above me i've just put a link to my website as well and that's a good place to follow these tutorials not only do you get the video you get a description of where the code's put into github and you also get the details of the code changes made as well so you can look at them while following the video Anyway, that completes this episode of the Media Thumbnail Viewer. Um, bye for now.